There's a few possible reasons why your Roku won't connect to Wi-Fi. The most common is that network pings are disabled, and this prevents your Roku from connecting to the Wi-Fi because it needs to send a network ping to the Roku servers and confirm that it's in contact with the Roku servers before it will work properly. And I'll have a look at how to enable network pings and also a couple of other situations such as MAC address filtering being on. And I'll also have a look at IP lease expiration in this video. So these fixes will all apply if your Wi-Fi is working on other devices but it's just not working on your Roku stick or your Roku TV. So first of all, just check that network pings are enabled. So on the home screen of your Roku, then take your remote and press the home button five times, fast forward once, play once, rewind once, play once, and fast forward once. And that will open the Roku secret platform menu. You then want to select the system operations menu and choose network menu. If it says disable network pings at the top, then select this and click on it to change it to enable network pings. And you can then back out of the menus, try switching your TV off and on, and it should then connect to the Wi-Fi normally. If it already says enable network pings, then just double check that MAC address filtering is not on on your router. So on your phone or other device, connect to your router's admin page. So open a browser and type in 192.168.1.1 or similar. The actual admin IP address will be written on a label that is stuck on the underside or the back of your router. And that will also have the admin username and password. So go to the admin page on your phone log in to your router and then find MAC address filtering in the menu and make sure this is switched off. So if MAC address filtering is on, then that will enable your, your Roku TV or stick to connect to your router, but it will not enable it to connect to the internet without entering your MAC address. So just check that switched off. You should also just check that there's no problems with IP lease expiration. So your router will assign an IP address to your Roku TV or stick, but this will be assigned for a set period of time, and then the IP address will either be renewed or replaced with a different IP address by your router. But if the time and date on your TV is wrong, and that time and date is outside of the IP address range that the router is providing, then there'll be a mismatch and your TV will not be able to use the IP address provided by your router. So you just need to make sure that the time and date on your TV is correct. The time and date on the router should be correct because it should be pulling it from the network, from the, your internet connection. So just go to time and date on your TV and check that it's set to now, and if not, then manually change it. If you're still having problems connecting your, your Roku to Wi-Fi, then just try factory resetting it and that usually does the trick.